What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start today's video with Hunter Labrada, the son of legend Ridley Labrada, trying to complete the legacy, trying to do something that his father tried so hard. And he actually came so close of accomplishing that, which was winning the Olympia title. Throughout his career, the Labrada placed very high at the Olympia. He was runner up twice against Lihini, and he placed top four seven times consecutively during his career. So going into this year's Mr. Olympia, it seems like Hunter isn't going to be a factor in that top 5. And I am talking about the way the discussions are happening and the way the predictions are being made. And here is the reason. Hunter does not have a standout body part. And that is exactly what makes him so balanced. He really isn't missing anything. So up until last year's Mr. Olympia, people used to criticize him specifically on his back or not bringing an insane level of conditioning. Or in other words, a top tier kind of conditioning. But here is the thing. Hunter changed all that after Texas and Tampa Pro this year. The physiques that he presented here this year, they were really, really impressive. So if you guys remember, his aim after the Olympia wasn't to get any bigger, but refine what he already had. And that is what he accomplished. So what does he need to do to get into that top 5? Well, if we are being 100% real, he needs to have more separated abs and bar midsection control. And more importantly, he needs some of the guys who place ahead of him come in a tiny bit off. Now that's the only way I see him getting past these guys. Some more pictures of Chris Bumstead were released today. He looks huge and pretty much right on the money. He is the most influential fitness personality for the young guys. And not for just the people who aspire to be professional bodybuilders, but also for the normal guys and gym rats. So the way we see him in loosely fitted clothes throughout the year and when the time comes to step it up, like 12 weeks out, he fires up all the cylinders and he looks like a beast ready to defend his title. And here is the thing, it is an indirect message that nothing is more important than your health and your well-being. And that is why these so many young guys who take gear and PGs, just because of the social media pressure, they should not do that. And they should really weigh the pros and cons before jumping into it. And yes, I know Chris Bumstead is a very genetically gifted individual, but he has set some ground rules to ensure the quality of life after bodybuilding. So can anyone take him out this year? Does anyone have a chance to dethrone him? I am gonna say no, at least when he is 100% on. Next up, we have a physique update of Chris's former rival, Brian Ansley, another champion, who continues to fight and fend off so many young guys some of whom are 20 years younger than him. His look from the side is really great, but he is at a point in his career where it is really unrealistic to think that he can improve his quad sweep. And keep in mind that the front relaxed shot is the first chance to make an impression on the judges, and not only on the judges, but on the fans as well. And all the three guys who placed ahead of Brion at last year's Mr. Olympia, all of these guys beat him in this shot very convincingly. And even Taylor Swiftman who placed behind him last year, he also has a very impressive front relaxed. So Brion still has one of the most incredible arms in the division, great peaky biceps, and he is so amazing from the back. So he does have some powerful things about his physique, and that is why he is a two times classic physique champion, not to mention the Arnold classic champion as well. And he is the only athlete who have both Arnold classic and Olympia titles ever since this division was created. So here is the question, can he place top 4 again this year? Well, people said he isn't gonna make top 5 last year, and he proved everyone wrong. So let's see what happens. So we have an update from the best Italian bodybuilder, three and a half weeks out of this year's Mr. Olympia, showing his quads, which is considered his biggest weakness, but he isn't afraid to show his progress. So Andrea Presti ensured his fans that despite multiple injuries over the years, he has been able to bring them up little by little every year. And this is what the fans are gonna see come show day in 3 weeks time. Regardless of where he places at this year's Mr. Olympia, Andrea should 100% do any of the post Olympia tour show, like Romania or Prague or Japan, and try to get his Olympia qualification early for 2024. Because that will set him up for a great off season for 2024, and a chance to make the maximum out of it. So how high can he place at this year's Mr. Olympia? Can he place as high as top 12? Do let me know in the comments below. And hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. 
and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.